now we will understand sales document structure and its controlling element and respective tables first uh, we will understand the structure of the sales document sales document has three structure one is the header second is the item third is the schedule lines and header items may have multiple items and one item may have multiple schedule lines this uh, header line of the sales document controlled by sales document type for example or then item level uh, or item data is controlled by item category 10 schedule line data is controlled by schedule line category for example cp if you open any sales order <coughs> you can uh, go to header data and in header data you will find in sales step is you will find order type sales area data sales office sales group document currency pricing procedures and document created by or document created on document date these are the header data which is applicable to the whole document and if you come to the overview screen of the sales order you will find the uh, more than one line item here line item stand for each and every line item uh, is uh, created for the each and every material code here you can see two material code system for uh, system create two line item for the first line item created 10 second line item is 20 and also for each and every line item you can see there is one item category that is 10 that means these uh, rows or these are this line item is controlled by the item category tn 10 and each and every item um, data is controlled by item category and it's has own value and it means information for example you can say material code order quantity pricing uh, planned storage location like this if you want to see the item data of particular document select it or double click on it if you double click on it uh, it will land you item data screen here uh, it is telling that uh, you are see, um, seeing the item uh, item number 10 for the material code this one dpc1009 which is controlled by the item category 10 and it has its own value like ship to party Planned shipping point route and for net weight gross weight of this material code and for this uh, line item 10 has and for, uh, which is representing to your material code dpc1009 has its own net value also and if you click the schedule line tab page you can see multiple schedule line data and each schedule line data contain delivery date order quantity confirm quantity and these informations are controlled by the schedule line category there is cp and if you want to uh, see the schedule line data you can double click on it any line uh, schedule line number or say schedule line row or select it and click on shipping tab page here you, you are seeing the schedule line data for the line item number 10 and 
schedule line number two for the material code DPC 1009, which is controlled by schedule line category CP. And it is here you can see confirm quantity, unit of measurement, and different dates, delivery date, good issue date, loading date, material date, transportation planning date, shipping point route. These are the informations for the uh, at schedule line level. Now, uh, we'll summarize our understanding again. Sales document has three levels or three structures. One is the header, header data, item data, schedule line data. Header, header data is applicable for the whole document. For example, we have seen the sold to party, document value, document date, currency, pricing procedure. These are the example of the header data. Next is the item data. Item data is applicable to specific item of that document. Then uh, these are the example of the item data like material number, quantity and its price, its weight, uh, ship to party, uh, plant and store locations. Then schedule line data is containing the informations like a delivery schedule of the particular items. These are the delivery quantity, delivery date, and confirm quantity. Now uh, we'll understand uh, these uh, header data levels, da header level data, item data, schedule line data. These are the data are captured in the database as in when you are going to click on the save button. So uh, we uh, will know the header data header data will store in which tables. Let's see header data is stored in the BVAK table. These, these are the transaction data tables BVAK. Second, item data stored in transaction table like BBAP. Schedule line data stored in BBAP table. Similarly, uh, as you know, sales document type, item category, and schedule line category, these are the configuration data. And these are as in when we create this uh, controlling element, these are the stored in configuration tables like uh, uh, we create document one uh, order type using t code bov8 that time as in when you save that uh, configurations it will store in tvak and similarly item category is store in tvap schedule and category cp store in tvp